Hey guys, I'm Dylan, and I've bombed out of every comedy club here in Orlando, Florida. So I gotta sit down and write some new jokes. I gotta do something, because they tell me I'm the worst comedian in the world. So I went to Walmart the other day. Um, you know, Walmart's uh, one of the weirdest places in the world. You always find uh, the most unusual, strange, uh, creepy people in the world, basically. And uh, so I fit right in perfectly for that. So I shop there a lot. Uh, it's the one place, you know, you can walk in and uh, just a Speedo and flip-flops, uh, you know, or you don't have to wash your hair or even comb it. Um, you know, you can just look and be who you are and no one judges you. It's perfectly normal. Uh, so anyway, I finally uh, got a date recently uh, from a dating app uh, that I've been going on trying very hard. Uh, it's hit or miss, you know, had a lot of issues with that. But uh, anyway, so I realized this first date in a while, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do for this, be prepared. So I decided to go to the, the condom aisle, uh, just in case, you know, I'm not expecting anything, you know, my luck. But uh, so anyway, it's a little awkward in Walmart, you know, they lock everything up now. Like uh, you can't even buy like uh, disposable razors or toothpaste and stuff like that. Everything is locked because I guess a lot of people steal things or something. I don't know. It's very weird, like I said. So the condoms are locked, you have to push a button to get attention of anyone, they gotta come over. So it's a little awkward and embarrassing. Uh, so the lady finally comes over, uh, this, this, she must've been like 25 years old, uh, redhead girl, not natural, of course, you know, very dyed, uh, Spanish lady, very nice anyway, cute. So she said, what can I help you with? And I said, I need you to open this glass right here. She's like, this one? And she points, and on one side, there's actually uh, vibrators and dildos and uh, big, huge bottles of lube. And I was like, uh, no, not that one, uh, this one over here. So she opens that one, and uh, I don't know what I'm looking for. You know, I, it's been so long, so I have no idea. There's all different shapes, sizes, colors of these condoms. I don't know what to do. And uh, she asked me what I'm looking for specifically. So I tell her, well, you know, it's been a while, new to the dating scene again, and uh, I just need some condoms, um, and I don't know what to do. And uh, she's like, well, this is our most popular item here, and she holds up a box. Uh, I see these sell a lot. Uh, and there's this one over here. And I'm like, well, yeah, but how do I know the size and everything? She's like, I don't know. Don't you know your own size? And I look at them like, well, I never measured. She's like, well, I, you know, you could just buy uh, one of each. And if one doesn't work, you can return it or something like that. And I, I don't want to go through all that. And that says waste money. I don't have to. So I asked her, like, can I try one on now? And uh, she, you know, looked at me very strange and then like, uh, no, sir, we can't do that. I'm like, well, why not? You have changing rooms for clothes over there. I see people doing that all the time. And, uh, yeah, but sir, there's no place for you to take out your penis and put on a condom here in Walmart. So I asked her if I could possibly, uh, if she could help me with this, like we could go to the bathroom somewhere private and maybe she could help me, you know, figure out the size and all that and see how it feels, you know, and if it really works. And, uh, you know, next thing you know, I'm coming out of Walmart in handcuffs, basically. Uh, she called security, and then the police were called. Uh, so I am the pervert of Walmart here in Orlando, Florida. So uh, I need a new place to shop. Uh, you cannot test condoms out in the store. Uh, you cannot ask the female or even male workers uh, if you could try them on and ask them how they feel. And, uh, yeah, it was a big mistake. So, uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't just, uh, maybe I just won't even wear a condom next time. You know, screw it. I mean, if you have to pay child support, you got to pay child support, but it'll be all right.